Well, after tornadoes ripped through the state nearly two weeks ago, multiple counties are facing millions of dollars worth of damage right now. Local 5's Dana Cyrils is here to break down uh, how extensive the demolition and the debt is in these areas. Well, Stephanie, it feels like we can never, we can never get a break of this, but right now nine counties are still in the disaster proclamations from those late April storms that we saw. I reached out to each county to see where the damage stands after these assessments. As towns are left with rubble and communities are working to put the pieces back together, the counties are looking at a bird's eye view of the damage done. You know, um, concentrated area of damage in our county has been Minden, but there are over 300 homes and businesses throughout the entire county that have been have some sort of damage to them. Potawatomi County, where the small town of Minden sits, was arguably one of the worst hit towns by the late April tornadoes. The county is facing over $20 million worth of damages, with 302 homes and businesses destroyed. Not too far east, Shelby County is estimating $50 million worth of damages. But if you were to follow the path of the tornado, um, you would see grain bins and homes that are just completely destroyed and leveled and debris everywhere. With a large agricultural presence and fixing the damages lining up to be months away, all hands are on deck. So there is a lot of agricultural business and they need these fields are planted, so they need them picked up for when the crop does to start pop out of the ground. Moving farther east, Union County is facing millions worth of damage as 76 properties were impacted. Then in the metro, Pleasant Hill saw 25 to 30 structures with major damage and nearly 100 homes with minor damage. The common theme across the board, counties thankful for all the help and support they have seen. I mean, it's, it's really been a whole county effort to get this to get us back to normal. It's going to take a long time, but um, everybody's been working. Shelby County says they expect to hear more updates from FEMA on their funding and the state as they visit tomorrow. Stephanie. Dana, thank you. Well, the cemetery on Oakwood Drive in Pleasant Hill is back open after a dedicated cleanup effort took place over the weekend. The city says it will be doing more sweeps throughout the community over the coming weeks. It's asking people to separate any vegetation debris from other types in order to speed up that cleanup process.